Grandstands were packed this weekend, this time for one of Nashville's most popular annual events. Steeplechase is typically held in May, but because of COVID, it was postponed until today. News 4's Daniel Jackson was there. Daniel, who won the race? Carly, what a race it was. Snap, de Snap Decision won this year's race, his ninth straight victory at the annual Iroquois Steeplechase. Spectators were out there for hours enjoying the race and even doing some tailgating. As they head down the back straight. Now. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Look at him run. Patrick Corby has a close up view of the races at the steeplechase. Get to see the horses, get to walk around and talk to the people. A lot of the same old people that we see year after year. It's great. He's been in the same spot for more than two decades, watching the horses dash throughout the Iroquois steeplechase at Piercy Warner Park. At the back and you're no better. This is a first jump for many of the races right here and we're right at the jump. Seven races in total, jockey and horse in collaboration, dashing through the courses and making sure the precision of each jump is on point. Funky hats and alcohol takes you places. An event for first timer Taylor Kennedy says she couldn't wait to dress up for. My friend told me about it and what got me is I get to wear a funky hat and I'm like, I'm sold. My friend Jenna, she races horses, told me everything about it, and I thought it sounded so much fun. It's a beautiful day. I'm pretty sure half of Nashville is here. The horses are gorgeous, and I'm really glad I came. A good time. They're both planning to attend next year. Come on, guys. Run it hard. Run it hard. Yeah. Don't miss next year. Let's bring it back big. Right there on the outside. And the East City moves up. And what a great time it was. Organizers say the race benefits the Monroe Correll Jr.'s Children's Hospital at Vanderbilt, and they exceeded their goals. Carly, Danielle, it's great to hear. Thank you.